Good afternoon, everyone. It's Rob Lawton from Trinity Episcopal Church in Southport, and I'm so glad that you've taken a few minutes out of your day to join me for this reflection on scripture and to do a little coloring with me. If you got this video from me by email, then you've already got the coloring sheet. But if you would like it, you can shoot me an, uh, an email at associate at trinitysouthport.org, and I'll be really happy to get that to you. And for folks who are on my family's mailing list here at Trinity Southport, know that this reflection and coloring sheet is a part of the larger uh, Reflections on the Heart home devotional guide I sent you a couple weeks ago. So if you didn't get that for some reason, uh, then please let me know and I'll send it out to you. But please know that in addition to what we're going to be doing today, there's lots of fun activities and other home reflections to use for this week. So I hope that you'll take advantage of that reflection and that devotional. Our scripture passage for today comes from the Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Stop collecting treasures for your own benefit on earth, where moth and rust eat them, and where thieves break in and steal them. Instead, collect treasures for yourselves in heaven, where moth and rust don't eat them, and where thieves don't break in and steal them. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Once upon a time, there was a family who lived on a boat. The family owned two treasure chests. One was a wooden chest with a heavy metal lock. In it, they stored all their money, jewelry, and fancy clothes. This chest was precious to the family. The other treasure chest was invisible. It could only hold invisible treasures. In the invisible chest, the family stored their love for each other, their determination, their hope for the future, and their generosity. This chest was precious to the family. The family protected both treasures. Sometimes the invisible treasures, like generosity, would inspire them to give away some of their visible treasures. The invisible treasure would keep growing no matter how much they gave away, no matter how empty the wooden treasure chest became. One day, there was a leak in the boat. Water began rushing in. The family escaped and swam to shore while their boat sank. They cried, everything we owned is gone. Our treasure chest, all of our money, we will never see it again. One family member looked over on the beach and saw nothing but her family. Her heart felt warm, even though her skin felt cold. Hey! Everybody, our invisible chest is here. It survived the sinking. They looked around. Even though they were very sad to have lost their boat and their wooden chest of treasure, they still had their hope, their love, their determination, and their generosity. That day, they picked up their even larger invisible treasure chest, and they started again. I wonder what thoughts and feelings came across your mind as you listened to that story. What are the things that you would put in your wooden treasure chest? What are the things you prize and cherish that you would put in your invisible treasure chest? These things, no matter what happens to us, can never be taken away from us our love, our generosity, our hope, our faith, and our determination. Because we store these things in our hearts and with God. And because God is steadfast and faithful, and God's generosity never runs out, we can trust that those things we give to God to keep safe for us will always be there. I invite you to pray with me. Generous God, you never run out of love. You never get tired of giving. 
Help us choose your ways of love and justice, giving instead of hoarding up for ourselves, and fill our hearts to overflowing. All this we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Savior. Amen. Well, thanks for joining me today for this reflection and this coloring time. I hope you got to take a couple minutes out of your day and just relax and reflect with me. Whatever the rest of your day and your week looks like, I hope it's great. I hope you've been surviving this cold and this snow that seems to, to be like it's on its way out now. But whatever the rest of your week looks like, I hope it's wonderful. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.